This snippet is Inserting Silverlight Video into Expression Web. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training from Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to add Silverlight Video to your pages using Expression Web's built-in integration with Expression Encoder. Additionally, you'll learn how to customize your video player skin and look at the video encoding options available for your use. So you'll want to first get started here by defining your site by choosing Site, Open Site, then click Browse, and you'll want to navigate and locate the Inserting Silverlight Video into Expression Web folder associated with the snippet. And specifically, you want to locate the Lucerne Site subfolder and click Open. Click Open again, and we'll now see our files within the Site View panel. Now the document that we'll be inserting our Silverlight Video into is this one here, news.html. Go ahead and double click on it to open. The area that we'll be adding our video to is down here below this heading, Lucerne Publishes Around the World. If you click once, you'll be within this paragraph, and now we'll insert this video. Just as a reminder, the top half of the screen is currently using a placeholder for our Silverlight navigation. To insert Silverlight video into your web page, choose Insert, Media, Silverlight Video. Once you do that, you'll be prompted to locate the video file. We're going to be using this one here, Earth, which is a Windows media file. Let's go ahead and click Open. Once you do that, you'll see the Insert Silverlight Video window appear. Now just one thing to note here, if you do not have Expression Encoder installed, you will not see this window. So at this point, Expression Web is relying on Expression Encoder's engine to encode and insert our video. So just a note about Expression Encoder, Expression Encoder is a separate program, and its entire job is to take video and encode it for the web or other uses. Looking at this window, we can see a few options. The first thing we're interested in is the input file. So we can see that we're pointing to this file labeled earth.wmv, and we can see the source dimensions here, 600 by 448 pixels, and it's about 24 seconds long. Now the next important section to look at is encoding. The default setting is apply source encoding settings. This is actually the one we'll be using, but we should talk about what this is. Generally, when you're adding video to your web page, you're taking a file that's already been reduced in size. That's what encoding essentially is taking the large video files that are created with digital video and shrinking them down to a smaller size and applying compression settings. So in this case, what we're asking Expression Web to do is leave our file alone. It's already been encoded, and the only thing we want to do is put it into our page. However, it's important to note that this is not the only option in Expression Web. If we click on this menu, we can see a number of presets. These presets will allow you to take a larger video file and compress it or reduce it in size. Now there's many options here, and you can look at the guide associated with the snippet to get more detail. However, what's worth noting is that Silverlight 3 now supports H.264 compression. H.264 is commonly referred to as MPEG-4, and so you can now use these files in addition to VC1, which is another codec used for Windows Media video files, among others. Now in our case, we simply want this one, Apply Source Encoding Settings. This maintains all of the settings and simply puts the file into our page. The next thing you want to turn your attention to is the Output Template. If we click on this menu, we can see a number of different settings. These all represent different skins or different video players. So for example, the default one alphabetically is Archetype. If you hover over the preview, you can actually see a mini version of this appear. Let's go ahead and click on Clean. This is the clean template and the one that we'll be using. If we look in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see the width and height of this will be 600 by 448. Now, for the most part, you want to avoid changing the width and height of your video unless you have a good reason to do so. Best practices would be to actually encode your video in the size that you want before you bring it in. So in our case, we're simply going to leave it as is. Now, we have a number of other options here. Automatically start video when queued automatically queue video when page is loaded. Let's go ahead and uncheck this first option so that the video does not play, and now we'll click Encode. At this point, encoding will take a few moments. We'll return as soon as this is complete. Now you might see this message window appear that the file silverlight.js already exists. This JavaScript is simply an automatic JavaScript that's created that prompts a user who does not have Silverlight to go and download the plugin. And it already exists because we've added a Silverlight file previously when we created our navigation. So let's go ahead and click Yes. 
And it's a little tricky to see because it's a white on white background, but if I click here below my header, I can see the object which represents my video. Again, in the design view, you do not see a preview of your video. We need to go into our browser to see this. So let's choose File, Preview in Browser. Go ahead and save your document. And when complete, we can scroll down, and now we can see our Silverlight video has been embedded into our page. And additionally, we have all our player controllers down below. Notice that 24 seconds, the length of the video, is seen here. We can go ahead and press play. And we also have some other controls available with this default template. We've got a scrub bar here, which allows us to seek through that movie. If this particular video had sound, we could control the volume and we could mute. And we even have a full screen option, which if we click, will allow us to see this video in full screen. You can always press escape to get out of full screen. So in this snippet, you've had a chance to learn how Expression Web can import Silverlight video. Thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.